Hello friends, in this video we will solve the RSCSA exam question which is in a 7th. The 6th number question will be based on the LDAP user. It is a quite hard so it will be solved in the next video. The 7th number question is related to the find and save. save. So uh, it is a very easy so it will be solved first after that we solve the 6th number question. So 7th number question said that Locate all the files of user Natasha on your system and save the list of all files in a slash where slash result type. That means we need to find all the files related to the Natasha user and it save on the slash where slash result direct. So how to do that? First of all, we need to create a direct because question said that all the files save in result dir. So for the creating the directory in a slash where we need to type a mkdir hyphen p slash where slash result dir we need to create this result dir directory in a where directory so we can add hyphen p after creating this directory we need to find all the files related to the user natasha for that we have the command find find command helps to find anything like the permissions user files or anything we will find uh, we will see the find function in the next video so after that we need to type a location in which location we need to find the files of files for example i need to find the natasha files in the home directory so home means slash after that hyphen user for what we need to find the files of the user that's why we add here hyphen user then the username username is a natasha after that we need to execute a command ex ec for executing the exp which command we want to execute the copy because we need to copy the all the files related to natasha user and then it will be pasted on the slash where slash result directory that's why I am here executing the command cp then hyphen pf for copy all the files recursively then in the curly bracket in the then the curly bracket after that storing location slash with where slash result dir then backslash after that colon and we need to just enter this command after entering the command all the files related to the user natasha will be stored in a slash where slash result directory okay so here they're taking the few minutes for processing this command because there are a the lot of files in the user natasha therefore it will be take a little time okay all the all all the files related to the user natasha will be stored have been stored in a slash where slash result directory so how to check this if the files of user natasha is stored or not so there is one command ls After, ls means long listing ls slash where slash result directory here you can find uh, user natasha is a source why we can see only one file because all other files are the hidden and if you want to check these files you need to type in front of the ls hyphen al al means all hidden files we are also visible so here you can see that all the files related to the user natasha are stored in a slash bash slash result directory they are bash logout bash dot profile bash rc and the home directory of the natasha and these are the hidden files that's why we add here al long ls means long listing so friends this question here are the aids and if you like this video then subscribe my channel and wait for the next video thank you